I'm using Genevieve Crabe's Mandala stencils and if you line up the points in the corner you can pretty much get the get this centered if that's what you want to do this particular tangle it's going to be kind of a mandala at the same time you can fill it in with other tangles if you like I'm going to make one center mark very light with a pencil then I'm going to make a pencil mark in the center of every other hole around the inner circle very lightly because these will be your marks to draw your lines and also will be measures later then I'm going to come out not in a line here I'm going to come out at an angle and then every other one again around the next circle of holes Okay. Then we lift the stencil and we got our micron pen. This is a 01 black micron. And I'm going to start from the center and make a line through this mark and curve and go out just a little further move this around again for each set of marks start with the center and move out in a curve And the last one. Okay. You have your spiral spokes. Now I'm going to come to the first point. Um, this was the inner circle points. And I'm going to bring this down and curve in along this line back to the center. I'm going to continue this around. Start at this point, curve out and back to follow the line back to the center point. When I've completed all of the inside curves then I will estimate somewhere between the first dot and the second dot just kind of eyeball it about midway I come back with a larger curve that will also follow down into the center and I just continue around I will just continue around, down, curve, and back into the center. I don't want these two to overlap. There needs to be a little bit of a gap left. Um, you're kind of getting the feel of a, a pinwheel coming around. You'll note these just keep getting bigger. 
each row. Gets a little bit larger. Okay. All right, the last row, you just find the last dot on the outside circle of holes that you made and start there and again curve out and around. Now you have your three rows. You can leave it like this and shade, or if you want to add extra embellishments, come along the line here, bring it up, and just add a spiral. These don't necessarily need to be the same size. You can stagger them. Every other one is a little smaller. go. The Eye of the Storm. To shade, we are going to think of where these different rows might overlap. I'm going to shade from the center and out. Right now I'm just laying out some pencil And when I'm finished, I will come back and smooth the shadows out. Bring them out into the center a little at the time. This is called a tortillon. You can use your finger. You can use one of these pointed tips. They're just paper. Um, but it does smooth pretty nicely. If it's not quite as dark as you want, go back and add a little more of the pencil until you feel like it has, has a dark enough spot. I think this is good. And so I will go around and finish this. And there it is. Fibonacci. Eye of the Storm.